Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to complete all three of the new LSA operation missions inside of the Avenger. And I promise you, after you watch this guide, you will be a certified pro at doing all of the LSA operation missions and you will be able to complete them all with no effort once you get them all down. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on it. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But now let's get into these LSA operation missions. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is enter inside your adventure and walk up to your operations terminal. Once you are there, click right D-pad to sign in and then you want to click where it says LSA operations. As you can see, here are the three LSA operation missions and these are actually the only three LSA operation missions that there are to complete. So we are going to be going in order by doing the direct action mission first and this is probably the hardest one out of the three LSA operation missions but this one isn't hard once you see this exact way how to do it. Now the first thing that you need to do is get in any vehicle that you own and drive it over to the LSIA. Once you head over to LSIA you will need to meet up with Rooster which he will be inside of this hangar right here. Once you do arrive at the hangar now exit your vehicle and click right d-pad to contact Rooster. Once you click right d-pad you just need to wait a few seconds and then he will eventually pick you up in a cool military grade helicopter. Once Rooster does pick you up in that helicopter, you will then be put in a cutscene for like 45 seconds and after you get to the aircraft carrier after that cutscene, you will then need to jump off of the helicopter just like I did right here. Once you jump off the helicopter, what you need to do is immediately parachute and once you parachute, you now need to land on top of this building right here which is like this air traffic control tower. Once you land up here, now you just need to get anything explosive like an RPG or an explosive ammo sniper like me and then you need to blow up all of the anti aircraft defenses which is that one this one right here next to it also one more next to that one which is right here and then the very last anti-aircraft defense is going to be at the very back of the aircraft carrier which is right here so blow up the last one and once you blow up the last one you now need to get a sniper and aim on the aircraft carrier and look for the raiju airplane once you find the raiju which is literally somewhere on the aircraft carrier you can see i can see where it's at just memorize where it's at and now drop down to the second level now go inside of this room right here and once you are inside of the room just search it and you you should find a key card as you can see here's the key card right here and once you get the key card now exit the room and simply go all the way down to the very bottom floor of the aircraft carrier which is right here don't worry once you drop down you should not lose too much health and once you get down here you now need to make your way over to the raiju airplane which you should have saw at the very top of that area where we were just at anyway once you do get inside of the raiju airplane now get inside of it and fly this all the way over to the hangar bay a if you are wondering why we are doing this, this is actually the bonus part to the direct action mission. So once you do this, you will be getting the bonus money for this mission, which is pretty cool. And it's very simple because all you need to do is fly this over to the hangar bay, park it just like I did here, get inside of the helicopter that is already here for you or in the vehicle that you parked here before, and then fly this back over to the aircraft carrier, which should only take you like a minute. To so once you arrive at the aircraft carrier, what you first need to do is blow up the generator at the very front, like I did right here with my Impressor Mark II. And once you blow up that, what you need to do next Next is enter inside and open up one of the containers that are inside of here. Inside of one of these containers should be a Terreador and as you can see after I opened the first one I got lucky and got the Terreador. Once you do find it now get inside of the vehicle and once you are inside drive it out of the container and then drive it into the ocean. Once you are in the ocean make sure you are in submersible mode and once you are in submersible mode you need to deliver it over to the LSA lockup which isn't too far but there is going to be a helicopter following you so make sure you are careful. Once you do arrive at the lockup though simply deliver it and after you deliver for this vehicle you need to simply exit the garage and once you exit the garage you are done with this first direct action mission and as you can see after I finished doing it I got paid $150,000 and $30,000 of that was the bonus payment that I got for delivering the Raiju so not only do you know how to do this mission but you also know how to do it with the bonus payment which is probably the best part about this guide anyway now let's get into the second LSA operation mission now the second LSA operation mission is called surgical strike and this one is very simple to do the first thing that you need to do is of course exit your avenger like it tells me right now and then you need to go over to the location that it tells you to go over to on your map this location is going to be different every time you do this mission so just go over to wherever it tells you and once you go over there you need to find a smuggler which he should be in this area once you do find the smuggler simply blow him up just like i did here or you can take him out with a gun just make sure you take him out though that's the fastest way to do this and once you take him out now pick up the smuggler's iphone once you pick up the iphone now get back on your vehicle open up your phone call lester and then remove your wanted 
wanted level. Once you remove your wanted level, now it's going to tell you to go to another area, which once again can be random. So just go over to that area. And once you go over to that area, you need to locate the shipments, which are going to be inside of the area that it told you to go to. So now take out every single one of the enemies in the area. And after you take out all of the enemies, now what you need to do is go over to the white circle with the question mark inside of it. And now you need to look for a blueprint, which is going to be somewhere inside of that white circle. As you can see, the operation bonus for this mission is to take a picture of that blueprint. So once you find it, open up your phone, go to Snapmatic and take a picture of it. Once you take a picture of it, send it to Charlie and you are now done with the operation bonus. Now inside of that same circle with the question mark in the middle of it should be a set of flares. And once you find those flares, click right D-pad to pick them up. And now you have flares in your inventory. Simply throw these flares on all three shipments inside this area. And after you mark all three shipments, now what you need to do is get in your vehicle and leave the base. Don't go too far because trust me, you want to see the cool explosion that is going to happen once you call in the airstrike, which as you can see, all you need to do to call in the airstrike is click right D-pad once you're off of your vehicle. Once you do call in that airstrike, you'll go through a really cool cutscene of some really cool like volatile airplane going through. I'm pretty sure this is a volatile airplane, but yeah, the volatile airplane is going to go through, drop a whole bunch of bombs, and you will see a really cool cutscene just like I did right here. Anyway, once that does get fully exploded, you need to go back to the area and take a vehicle which is going to be a menacer. As you can see, it's pretty easy to take the menacer. You literally just need to take out the gunner. And once you take out the gunner, literally get in the driver's seat and deliver this back over to the LSA lockup like we did for the first mission. And once you deliver this HVY menacer to the location, you are now done with the second operation mission, which is called Surgical Strike. And as you can see, I got paid $132,000 for this mission. Anyway, now it is time to get into the third and final LSA operation mission, which is called Whistleblower. And this one is very easy to do as long as you follow this way that I show you right now. Now, what you first need to do is head over to the location that it tells you to go over to, which shouldn't be too far, but that location is going to be random every time. That's why I tell you to just head over to the location it tells you to go to. But once you get over there, what you need to do is collect a set of night vision gear, which is literally as simple as going to the back of the van, clicking right D-pad, and boom, just like that, you have night vision gear. Now, what you need to do is get back inside of your vehicle and head over to the next location it tells you to go to which shouldn't be too far from the location you are at and inside this location should be a cargo bob simply get inside of the cargo bob and once you get the cargo bob fly it up into the air and pick up an emp which is going to be in this area that we picked up the cargo bob at as you can see there is the emp right there once you drop your hook it's literally as simple as picking up the emp just like i did here and now go over to the iaa substation once you head over to the iaa substation drop off the emp just like i did here and once you drop it off what you then need to do is go over to the IAA facility which is literally right next to the area that we are at right now but make sure before you go inside the IAA facility you land your helicopter and call in an oppressor mark 2 or any sort of vehicle just so it's ready for when we are ready to leave the IAA facility once we are done with this anyway once you are inside of the IAA facility what you then need to do is click right d-pad to detonate the EMP and once you detonate the EMP it is then going to go completely dark and we need to go through those two doors right there in front of me as you can see it just went completely dark now our night vision is kicked on now just go through these two doors like i said and now go through those doors right there in front of me once you go through these doors now take a left and go through these other doors and now once you're going down these stairs hold right on your d-pad you should see at the top left an operation bonus if it says you need to upload a virus i'll show you what to do next but sometimes it says you need to blow up a generator which is very easy i'll show you how to do that as well the one that I got though was the upload of virus, which is pretty easy. All you need to do for this is come downstairs all the way. And once you take all of the people down here, now come up to this computer right here and simply click right D-pad. Once you click right D-pad, you are now going to be uploading the virus, which should take like around 20 seconds. And after you do that, boom, you are now done with the operation bonus. Now, if it was to blow up the generator, it is literally right here. So just literally get an RPG, blow up that generator. And just like that, you now completed the bonus and you are now done with the bonus for this mission. Anyway, once you do the bonus, what you need to do is come through these doors down here at the very bottom where we were just at and now you need to steal all three of the hard drives inside of here which is really simple just go up to all three hard drives click right deep to take it and once you take all three of them you need to now make your way out of the IAA facility once you exit the IAA facility you now need to go to whatever vehicle you caught out before you got inside of the IAA facility which is why I said you should have called out a vehicle beforehand that way you have a vehicle ready to leave anyway once you get inside that vehicle now drive your way over to the location which is going to be a drop off that drop off is going to be at a journalist which is going to be at a random location but once you drop off the hard drive to the journalist you now need to leave the area and after you leave the area you are now done with this third and final mission which was pretty simple as long as you did it this way that I showed
showed you. And just like that, after dropping off the hard drives to the journalist, after you leave the area, you are now done with the whistleblower mission, which was really easy as you saw. Anyway, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Now you know how to complete all three of the new Avenger LSA operation missions, and you also know how to complete them the best and fastest possible ways. And trust me, after you do these missions a whole bunch of times, you are going to complete them faster and faster every single time, but these methods are going to make you finish them fast either way, trust me. Anyway, if you did want to enjoy today's video, or if it taught you anything new, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on it. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But like I said, that's it for me, and I will see you all in my next video. Peace.